What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a free UTM solution that you can use for any marketing platform to better attribute where your sales are coming from. Now, if you're not familiar with what UTMs are, I highly encourage that you visit my previous video that I've recorded about UTMs. Really helpful and gives you some great paid tools that you can use in order to better track your sales and where they're coming from, specifically with paid ads. Now, if you are balling on a budget, this is going to be a great temporary solution to get your feet wet with UTMs how they work and utilize a resource that is free to us for maybe those smaller businesses or businesses that you, where you aren't quite ready to invest the couple hundred dollars or even a couple thousand dollars a month that it costs for some of these UTM softwares. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so really simple. Step one, you're gonna go into whatever ads manager on whatever marketing platform you're using. Step two, you are going to go to the ad section. And in most marketing platforms in the ad section, there's gonna be a place in which you can enter your URL parameters or your UTMs. And you're going to wanna enter this script here. Now I have the places highlighted where you actually wanna change the content depending on the campaign, the ad set, or the ad name. That is what's going to allow you to go back and forth between Shopify's analytics section and the marketing platform that you're on to be able to see what the campaign was, the ad set was, and the ad that actually earned that sale. Step four, you're gonna go into the analytics section of Shopify, you're going to go into sales attributed to marketing, and then you're gonna edit your columns, and you're gonna put in whatever columns are essential to you in understanding your metrics and your numbers and your personal preferences. I like to have things like add to cart, initiate checkout purchases, and obviously the campaign name, the ad set name, and the ad name, so I can figure out where that purchase just came from. Now, the reason that this is really exciting is because a lot of us don't want to go ahead and invest a couple hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars a month, like I mentioned before, into UTM softwares for brand new businesses or for startup businesses, because those costs can definitely add up over time. And frankly, a lot of them don't work sometimes, and it can be hit or miss depending on your business, how you set it up, and it can be really, really complicated. Whereas this is a really easy and simple solution and free solution that you can implement into any of your businesses right now. And although it might take a little bit more time than maybe some of the paid tools, it can be entirely worth it if you're getting a really poor attribution rate on whatever marketing platform you're operating in. So let's see what this looks like in real time action, right? So here are some campaigns. They're gonna be blurred out for obvious reasons, but uh, one of the campaigns that I recently did this kind of small test and experiment with to see if these would actually work and be able to attribute those specific sales to specific campaigns, ad sets, and ads, I actually put at the ad level, and I'm gonna show you how that works. So we're gonna hop over into the ad section. We're gonna click on edit on any of the ads that we're currently obviously operating. And in this case, we have two different ads that we tested for this product. And so we want two different custom links if we wanna know which ad it came from. If we don't care about the micro level of the ads and we just care more about the campaign and the ad set, then we don't even have to go as far as organizing it by ad. We could just technically have one URL in both of the ads just to show that the purchase came from that one ad set in that one campaign, if that's all we're really looking for. Now we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom of the ad and there's gonna be a section called URL parameters. And here is where we're gonna to wanna to put in that content that we just talked about. And we wanna change up those three sections, campaign name, ad set name, and ad name. So although some of the components in here might be blurred out for you, here is where I've edited the campaign name, the ad set name, and the ad name. And the ad name is one because this is the first version of the creative I used. And if I go over to the second creative, for the same ad set, all of the content is gonna be the same, but I'm actually gonna change the ad number to two just so I can distinguish where that sale came from. So I only tried this out for two of the new campaigns that I launched. There's not gonna be a whole lot of data going on, but when we hop in here into Shopify and we see the sessions attributed to marketing, we edited our columns to get what we needed, which was our campaign name, our campaign content, which actually has our ad set name and our ad name grouped together in one. We can see our visitors, our sessions, add to carts, initiate checkouts, our conversion rate, and our sessions converted. So as you can see here, we have this one campaign and this one ad set that actually got two purchases. Now, if we hop into the actual campaign and one of the new ad sets we launched, we will be able to see that for that exact audience that Shopify just told us that we got two sales from, Facebook is only tracking one. 
And that's super important for us to know for our business because we're not gonna know what to scale, what's profitable, what's not profitable if we don't know where sales are actually coming from. So by implementing this, it is a completely free and very, very easy to set up solution where you can actually start to get to know your numbers a little bit better despite some of this iOS tracking discrepancy and craziness that's been going on in the marketing world recently. And as you can see, we have another ad set here that actually that did pick up the purchase. And so if we actually go into the ad level, we see that on Shopify, it's showing that ad number one is the one that got us that sale. And that's the one that also reported it here. So sometimes it's just gonna confirm that Facebook did its job at allocating, at attributing the purchase to the right campaign, ad set and ad. Other times Facebook will completely miss these purchases but the UTM will pick that up behind the scenes and you'll be able to make much, much better media buying decisions by just flipping back and forth between Shopify analytics and your ads manager. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope it helped out a ton and you can go ahead and start implementing this strategy into your business as soon as possible to fix any of the tracking issues you may have seen. And maybe this is that step before you jump into a UTM software that you need to familiarize yourself with the concepts and this ideology of better tracking through server side tracking rather than being pixel side tracking dependent. If you guys have any questions on UTMs or you want it or you want to see any topics covered in future videos, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed what you saw today, I would appreciate it if you left a thumbs up on this video. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.